Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series, one that I've been wanting to do for a very long time called the Kingdom Key series. If you'd like to get a video featured on the series, then just send me an email following the instructions on the screen. Essentially what it is, is that you guys can send me your submissions of your albums on khuxtracker.com containing all of your individual medals for me to look at, ask me questions related to setups, and I'll personally go over in a video like this one my thoughts and advice on creating the best setup solely based completely on what you have as an individual. So today's going to be kind of like an example video as a, like an introduction to the series. One of my Discord members, Cry4Key, was actually kind enough to be the first person uh, to submit their question and such for the series on, on here. He actually sent me a link to his album, like I mentioned before, on khuxtracker.com. And so now I can actually see a full list of all of his medals that he put into his album. Um based off what he has in his actual game. So just to kind of show you guys, for example, this is cry 4 keys album. In case you haven't been to khuxtracker.com, this is a website that you can actually go in, putting medals based in the game, Indiv individualize the traits and skills and all everything and it'll calculate and it basically simulates the damage output that your setup will do so like for example we got cry for keys uh, hd master form sword that he has and his hd master form sword specifically has the paralysis trait uh, max two gauges and extra attack as well as attack boost for max and 150 percent guilt Okay, so that way I so this allows me to actually go over every single medal that he possessed or at least that he submitted and then what I'm going to do for you guys is actually go over actual setups for you specifically and I hope the rest of you watching can actually learn from it as well. I'm going to be explaining my thought process throughout the whole thing. So today I'm going to be going over his album and setups and stuff. His question that he asked me was actually for the Divine Rose and he was curious for his setup as to uh, what would be the best Colosseum setup for him that he could use based off the medals that he currently owns. All right, so I actually took the time to go through each of your medals just to see what you have. And I basically noticed that you have a large, uh, a pretty, a lot of good magic upright medals in your collection. Um, as you, I mean, and you have a few really good uh, speed medals as well. Um, so I noticed that like for example, you have a really decent Dark Riku, uh, you have some latest medals too, like you have an insane uh, Shioni EX with d extra attack, like oh my god, I can, like that right there is gonna take you places, ugh, I like people can only dream that they can have extra attack on Shion or Kyrie EX, so you're one of those lucky few that actually managed to get it. Uh, but as well as you have a really nice uh, HD King Mickey here too. You have a Riku who doesn't have a skill, which is kind of unfortunate. But if you could slap one on there, that that would be uh, that wouldn't be that bad. Um, whether or not you need it for your actual setups, that's a completely different argument. But uh, it in itself, is a really good metal. Um, you have Kyrie over here too. I, you also have a uh, Warrior of Light, which is really nice. But you have a really nice uh, Final Boss Shion too. Um, and there's various other metals as well. Um, li like for l like this HD Aqua EX over here too. Um, but aside from that, there's a, there's a few notable uh, metals that I want to go over first that I'm going to be talking about throughout this video before I get started on the actual setups. And basically what I noticed is that there's going to be a few key metals that I noticed you have but aren't being utilized to their fullest potential just yet. And those would be the HTP over here who is right now uh, just one dot and has no skills or traits. Another one is, let's see if I can find it, <clears throat> right here. And the other one is this HD Lark scene right here as well, who is currently at four dots and has a raid boss trait. That would actually be pretty cool for a raid boss setup um, as well. And the last one that I'm probably going to end up talking about as well that you don't have is going to be the uh, Key Art Bonds copy metal that I know you don't have. I know you mentioned to me in Discord that you're not looking to 
get any of the key or copy medals from the beginners deal anytime soon until like after anniversary but for one of the setups in here it's gonna it's gonna be worth mentioning at the very least so without further ado i'm gonna get started into this episode i actually made the setups in advance already for you i, I took some time and tested all different stuff so based off what you have right now this is actually going to be your best divine rose setup at the moment based off what you have and we're basically going for a reverse strategy right here and we're taking full advantage of the fact that your shion ex over here has double extra attack because i mean like what <laughs> you kind of have to <laughs> like it's it's too good to like not take advantage of um but it ends up working out really well for the divine rose uh for you as well i should say because the fact that because of the fact that you're Shion EX over here has that extra attack. You don't really have to use a copy metal um, in this second slot either. Or like normally your first two slots. Where's my mouse? There it is. Normally your first two slots are, are either a copy metal and Shion or Kyrie EX. Okay. Um, in, in some way, shape or form. It's either Kyrie first and then copy or copy and then Kyrie, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but it's usually those two medals in the first two slots normally. Um, but you're lucky enough to have extra tech so you don't have to do that. So you're actually able to take advantage of this speed reverse slot that most people don't normally get to take advantage of. And luckily for you as well, Shio, Fa uh, Final Boss Shion is one of the best medals that you can use immediately following up after using a Kyrie or Shioni X, especially Shioni X, obviously, because it's reversed. Um, so that ends up working out really great right there, especially for Coliseum, because in Coliseum, uh, general defense down is like, that is like the most important debuff to have in the entire mode is general defense down. Because once you start getting those higher levels, uh, the enemy's defense rises as they as their level rises, okay? It literally scales with them. So that ends up becoming the most important thing as well. Uh, minus 60 defense traits are also very important too to help chip away that defense even more. But... Above all else, uh, the main thing you need before anything else is that general defense down debuffs. Otherwise, you're going to do like almost no damage whatsoever. But luckily for you, that's not a problem because of those two, those two medals. So from there on, because of the fact we already have all our buffs and debuffs already maxed out, aside from reverse buffs, we can start using the HD Aqua EX over here. Now, as a rule of thumb, you want to try to use any of the Wayfinder Trio medals in the third or fourth slot whenever possible to help maximize your damage throughout the rest of the setup. So as you can see right here, I have it right here in the third slot and it's basically just going to like just channel through the rest of the Keyblade and just do insane damage. Now, for the fourth slot, we have HD Nominee. You have a really good HD Nominee, by the way. And Tech Boost 4 Max Lux Plus and has Aerial... Uh, defense trait with a raid boss and is fully guilted like this is actually a really good nominee um, so you're pretty you're pretty fortunate to have a copy of her like that um, but the main purpose for her having there in the four slot right here is to basically make her become a reverse uh, metal even though she's in an upright slot uh, by copying the Dark Riku over here in the 5th slot. So that way we can take advantage of the reverse buffs that Shion provides us. Um, that's all purpose for that. And so now the last two medals that we have in the setup. We have Dark Riku uh, over here. Uh, unfortunately he doesn't have a max skill. Which which can be a little, uh, a little worrisome. Because that means you're going to have to rely on RNG a little bit in terms of Colosseum. But if you have the right perks... Uh, to go along with it. it, it shouldn't be too much of an issue, uh, but yeah. So he, the reason he's in the fifth slot is partially due to his multiplier uh, condition, which is he inflicts more damage the higher the slot number, uh, which in this case he's in slot five. And slot five, and this is based on a level 35 uh, Divine Rose with a spirit rank of six, by the way, just for reference. But at level 35, the Divine Rose, let me swap the stats right here. The Divine Rose for the fifth slot has a 3.0 multiplier for a, a speed reverse metal. So Dark Riku ends up getting like pretty much almost his full multiplier buff but he also gets the max slot multiplier buff so he ends up doing an insane amount of damage now you actually have a really good uh sephiroth over here too which and it's kind of unfortunate uh that this is the only good metal that i could really put to keep along with the reverse strategy that you have uh 
but pretty much one of the main reasons that I put him on here is because of the fact that he has he has both that your your Sephiroth has both of the minus 60 uh, traits on him which is gonna be really good for you um, and he has the attack boost 4 skill it's not max to just like Richu which is kind of which kind of sucks which means you're gonna be having to worry about RNG on top of RNG uh, between these two to get your max damage, which is the which is kind of concerning. Um, but I mean, if you're willing to take in the time to go through that, then by all means do it. Uh, now, one thing I'm going to want to point out is that there are a couple other medals that I noticed in your album that you could potentially take care uh, take advantage of as well that you can use instead of the Sephiroth if you wanted to go that route um, because of the fact that the the slot multiplier or the slot the spirit slot I should say doesn't have an attribute attached to it you can put any metal in it um, you can essentially use any reverse metal that you have in your album and I noticed that you have a couple reverse metals that you might want to take some interest in such as let me see if I can find it you have a Destroyer Behemoth, by for example, that's fully guilted, has a minus 60 ground trait as well, but no skill. Uh, this is actually a really strong metal, and I might actually completely recommend using this if you're able to. Uh, like if you slap a good skill on it, this might be a viable option to put in that pet slot as well. And same thing for the Trick Master as well. Um, same exact thing. Um, it's actually an exact copy of your Destroyer Behemoth too, um, but same exact scenario. Um, if anything, you would just swap these two out uh, depending on the enemies you're facing. But those are some viable options that you could use instead of Sephiroth uh, if you really wanted to. And the only reason Sephiroth is there right now is primarily because of the fact that it has a skill. Uh, but at the moment, this is the best current setup for your Divine Rose based off specifically what you have at the moment. Um, and of course, take some of those medals that I mentioned in mind uh, for the future. So if you remember back to the uh, beginning of the video, I actually told you about the fact that you have these two really good uh, medals over here that you could take advantage of that are really good that are just not guilted yet or have skills. And that's your HD Lark scene and the Pete. But the big one you want to really take note of is the HD Lark scene. HD Lark scene is a beast. She is literally the best, the strongest uh, reversed metal in the game when you're able to get her multiplier condition off properly. So right here she says she inflicts more damage the more gauges used this turn. And the number of gauges you need to meet this this uh, condition is 10 gauges. If you're able to use at least 10 gauges uh, in the setup, you can meet her max multiplier condition, I believe. So, and there's something I want to actually point out too. So, we'll take a look at Larxene's multiplier. Larxene has a multiplier, a max multiplier. She actually has a multiplier of 13.61. Okay, that is huge, uh, especially for the uh, reverse metals at the moment. Right now in JP, they have tier 8 metals already. And one of the newest tier 8 metals that just recently came out was the Zaldan Kai that just came out or remodified, however you want to word it. And I want you to take a look at this. Zaldan Kai is a tier 8 metal, but his multiplier is at 13.53. Granted, Zaldan Kai does provide a reverse a reverse uh, down debuff as well, but we're just but for, we're gonna ignore that for the sake of this video. We're just looking at the multiplier. He has a 13.53 multiplier compared to a Lark scene. We're gonna go here too. Compared to a Lark scene who has a 13.61 if you can meet her max multiplier. So that is right there is worth noting she is one of the strongest reverse metals currently in the game so you want to take advantage of her when you're able to now i took the time and actually looked through a lot of your other metals too um like i mentioned before as well in the beginning of the video you actually have a lot of really good magic upright metals uh in the game right now especially like you actually have like a really lot of a lot of really good meta uh, upright magic metals too so i took the liberty and tried constructing a counterpoint setup for you as well and uh there's actually something i want to mention here too so at the moment this one right here this is actually your best counterpoint setup in the game at the moment it, it, it's just absolutely insane i want you guys to take a look so let's talk about the multipliers first i noticed that you have for copy metals you also have a let's see if I can finish. you also have a copy of HD Vanitas um, and it's actually a really good Vanitas as well he has attack boost 4 max and lux plus and he's fully guilted that's really good 
Um, and we're actually going to utilize him here. So one thing that people don't realize is that when it comes to Colosseum, the first two slots of most setups are dedicated to a copy metal and Kairu Shigoni X to get most of your buffs and debuffs. And then your third slot basically just fills out the rest of what it's missing, um, of what stats you're missing. And so because of this, the first two slots are not supposed to do damage anyways. If they do, that's nice, but that's not what they're there for. Um, but it becomes especially more relevant in the higher tiers of the game because once you start hitting the higher levels, um, it doesn't matter how good your your first metal is anyways in the first slot. Your first metal is basically going to do no damage almost all the time, almost every single time when it comes to really high tiers like tier 15 and 16 it's just gonna do no damage whatsoever period because of the fist we can actually we actually don't have to use hd nominee right here in the first slot and we can actually try using it in a different slot and what we can do instead is put the hd vanitas here in the first slot instead um because like i said it's it does like so because of the fact that it's not going to do much damage anyways uh it doesn't really matter what attribute the first slot is we can just put any copy metal right here um, or Kyrie and whatnot and do the same thing um, and just ignore the attributes so we're kind of just ignoring the first slot attribute we're having HD Venus over here just for the sake of copying Kyrie and Kyrie's in the second slot so, we, so it gets used and copied blah 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 HT King Mickey is still one of the best magic uprightos upright metals in the game um, for a couple reasons. The first one being that he is the only other metal aside from Kyrie EX over here who provides uh, two, a plus two upright strength buff in the game. He's currently the only one that does that. Any other metal that provides a upright buff only provides one plus one uh, upright strength buff. He is the only one that provides plus two. Which is really good, and kind of, and for the same reason as the final boss Shion in the Divine Rose setup, uh, he also provides a general general defense down debuff, uh, which is necessary for maxing out the cap that we need as well. So uh, he's also super effective against uh, any attribute, but that's just more icy on the cake than anything else. But he is really good to have in the third slot right here, and so by the time we get to the third slot, we have six uh, upright strength as well as. Um, he's going to do a pretty significant amount of damage for the third slot. And then from here, we're just going to town. We have uh, HD Aqua EX, who can just do a, a ton of damage. And then we're just, and then right here is like just a absolutely insane and like it's, it's just a feast of damage where HD uh, Namine can copy your Warrior of Light and, and, ugh. <laughs> it's just gonna be great um the only thing that you want to be concerned about when it comes to the setup at the very least is because of the fact that normal normally you want to try to have at least a random target or aoe metal in the fist slot because you're not always especially once you start getting to the higher uh tiers and, and stages in coliseum you're going to start getting to points where you can no longer um take out all of the enemies all at once because uh, normally there's like one enemy left in every group of enemies that you fight that has the highest amount of HP compared to everybody else. So by the time, so normally by the time that you're done with the fifth metal, assuming it's a random target or AOE, uh, you can start using uh, single target and random target metals for your pet slot uh, to finish off that one dude that's left. Okay, but since because of the fact that uh, HD Nominate is basically acting as like another single target metal because it's copying a Warrior Light. Uh, you just got to be aware of that, that sometimes you'll st still have like two or three enemies left um, at, by the time you get to your fifth slot, which uh, might start making things a little bit difficult for you. Basically, you won't be able to one shot or uh, one turn uh, enemy groups anymore by, at that point. So that's the only thing to keep in mind that. I hope you enjoyed that video. This is a series I've been really wanting to do for quite a long time. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot, as well as hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload new videos. I try to want to do one of these at least once a week, but that just completely depends on the type of submissions that I get. But other than that, uh, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Across Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.